Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the new Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. It's the Gather Round Sisters palette. I'm going to do a couple eye look swatches with that, um, including this look that I have on today. I had to film that one for you guys, but we're going to go ahead and just get into the swatches. Um, yeah, check out my new shirt. I got this from Etsy. Super cute. So if you're interested in seeing more about this palette, then just keep watching. So I have a couple wipes right here to swatch stuff, wipe it off, and a paper towel. I was going to do my arms, but I don't want to get stuff all over my sweater, so I'm going to be swatching everything on my hand. So it'll be a lot of like wiping on and off stuff. Where did I put the palette? Oh, I see it. So this is like the unicard that it comes inside. Again, it's some color pop. The name of the palette is called Gather Round Sisters. So I actually just watched Hocus Pocus for the first time last week, I believe. I know I'm going to be 26 this month and I'm just now watching it for the first time. I was homeschooled. I lived a very, very, very sheltered life. <laughs> the first time I watched Harry Potter, I think was like two years ago. So, um, any use, here is the palette right here. And I love the packaging. It looks like the book, whatever the book's name is. I can't remember. Um, and it looks like pages here. And on the back, we have all the names of the eyeshadows. And they're all in little witches cauldrons and as you can see we have two that have the asterisks that are not intended for eye area one of them is a pressed glitter that i have on and then i believe the other is just like a pink or red or something so here we go here's the palette the artwork on here is super cute you have mary winifred and sarah of course this one's mary and that's me so um Anywho, again, here's a palette. We're going to go ahead and start swatching. So the first shade that we have right here is Full Moon. This is like just a creamy white color right here. It's actually pretty pigmented for a white. And next we have Hello Salem. And it's like this pinky color right there. And then and next we have Brew Potion. This is the pressed glitter that is in the palette. That is also what is on my eyes. So I'll swatch that right here. This is so pretty. I know like a lot of people have mixed feelings with pressed glitters. I personally love pressed glitters, so they never bother me. Um, next we have this one on toast. These are really creamy. And I'll swatch that one right here. Wow, look how creamy of a matte that is. That is actually, crazy and I do have that somewhere on my lid today I believe it's in my crease so I'm gonna wipe those off so we can get to the next ones next right here is coven so this looks like a matte with um shimmer Woo! that is wow that's a horrible swatch <laughs> such a bad swatch but beautiful next on the second row we have come little children mm -hmm. And that was a pretty crappy swatch on my part. Let me see if I can get that better because it's like the same formula as the one before. Which is Coven. Oh, I, dang it. I just messed it up. Okay. There we go. That looks a little bit better. These are horrible swatches, guys. Next, we have Tis Firm, which is like a shimmery shade right here. Mm. Woo wees. That is really pretty. And then next, we have. Zachary Binks. So I actually thought his name was Zachary and that Winifred had some sort of like lisp or something and was saying it weird. But no fam, it's actually Thackeray. And that is that one right there. Ooh, these shimmers in here are so pretty. I actually have under the press glitter, I have Thackeray Binks on my eye. Um, because I did a bit of a halo eye today and that Thackeray Binks was blending in too much to my outer and inner corner shade, so I needed to lighten it up, so that's why I put the pressed glitter on. So next we have Yabos, which is this green color. So I actually think Yabos should have been like a nude color because you know Yabos are supposed to be boobs. So I thought it should have been like a nudie color, but that is still super pretty. And then we have, I call it a bus. 
Whoa, this is gonna be like, ooh. Look at that one, that is crazy. And then next we have Wench. My brother Corbin used to always call me and my sister Callie Wenches all the time. Like that was his thing, and that's what this one is. Really pretty, but that, that would be a really pretty inner corner brow bone highlight. We only have a few left. Next we have Anita Frolic, and this is a shade that is on my outer corner and my inner corner of my eyes for my halo eye right here. You guys, these are crazy pigmented, and they, like I'm wearing them today, so they definitely blend out really beautifully. We have three more left to swatch, so let's get those. Next is Dead Man's Toes which is this, whoosh, my hand looks stained. This is the one that had the other asterisk on it and it's probably because it's like a purplish reddish color which can stain, so that's why. Next we have Bewitched, which is this like army green color, I really like this. That is really pretty. You guys, these are ridiculously pigmented. And the next and the last one we have right here is Goodbye Cruel World. Let's put that right here. Woozers. There we go. And that is all of the palette, all of the shades swatched. As you can see, I made a bit of a mess on here. There isn't very much fallout um, in the pan, but there is a bit of kick up when I was um, mixing with the shadows and putting them on my brush. But yeah, guys, that is what I have for swatches. Again, this is the eye look that I did today. I'm probably going to do like three or four different eye looks. So if you are interested in seeing the eye looks, we will get to that. I did want to mention the launch of this was a big, it was just like a huge disaster. So it was supposed to launch on the 30th of September and I had an alarm set and I got online, was refreshing every minute, was waiting for like an hour, I think two hours went by and they announced that whatever the site was crashed because there were so many people on there. So they rescheduled it to the next day at one o'clock, the same time again, well, one o'clock PST for me, I think it was 10 o'clock there, EST, whatever time zone that was. Um, so the next day I get on there and I'm refreshing it like every couple minutes early and they ended up releasing it like three or four minutes early. I think it was like three minutes early and I added it to my cart at 12.59. Um, I got this and then I had the whole um, liner collection and then one of the Jelly Mutt shadows all in my cart. And I waited in the checkout line online for about two hours and then it refreshed and everything sold out, like everything was gone. So I didn't get anything on the first launch. So then fast forward to October 4th when it launched at Ulta I got this and that was the only thing I could get because everything again sold out. So I wasn't able to get any of the liners that I want. The Glittery Lee Obsess that I wanted was gone too. But I am thankful that I got this palette. I know a lot of people were like super pissed off at ColourPop because they said they should have had more quantities and all this stuff. But I'm just glad I got it. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited to play with it more. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, again, like I said, if you guys want to see this eye look and the other three, two or three eye looks that I do, then just keep watching. All right, guys, we are starting off with the shade on toast and we are just buffing that all into the crease. The next shade that we are going to go into is the Night of Frolic and we are going to pack this on to the outer corner. Typically I would use a piece of scotch tape but I'm just, you know, gonna wing it. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna keep it building it up on the outer corner. Alright, after I have buffed it out nice, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the same shade Night of Frolic on the inner corner of the eye, leaving the center portion of the lid bare. 
Now I'm picking up that first shade we used on toast on a fluffy brush and then just blending everything together one more time. And then going in with the shade Thackeray Binks and I put that all over the lid only to realize that I needed more oomph so I went in with the shade Brew Potion on top of it and just pat it in all over the lid. And now we're just going to blend that Night of Frolic shade in with the shimmer and then we're going to take that Night of Frolic shade again on the lower lash line on the inner and outer portions of the eye leaving the center bare so we can place that Brew Potion right in the center. I just used a concealer brush, spritzed it with some MAC Flix Plus and applied the Brew Potion shade. And here's the finished eye look you guys. Okay, so first off, we started with the shade Hello Salem, and then I just kind of buffed it all into the crease. I then picked up the shade Bewitched on a smaller fluffy brush and just focused this on the outer corner. Now going in with the shade Yabos and then just packing that all on the center portion of the lid. And then I picked up the shade Winch and put that on the inner corner of the lid. Just picking up a fluffy brush and blending everything together. I went in one more time with the Bewitched shade and ended up dragging it a little bit closer to the crease. And then I blended it on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm just popping on a green gel liner that I got from CoverGirl. I was unable to get the ColourPop gel liner in the collection because it sold out. And here's the completed look you guys. I think the green really looks great with the blue eyes. Alright, we are starting off by going straight into the shade. I call it a bus and I'm just kind of building up a deep dark wing and then I'm going to just buff it out. Next we're going into Dead Man's Toes and then we are putting that on the edges of that black and kind of blending it into it just to give a little bit more color to the look. Now I'm just building up that black just to make it a little more intense. I took the shade Full Moon and then I just popped that on my brow bone. For the lower lash line I just went into I called a bus and then I just buffed that all into the lower lash line. And here is the finished look. Alright, I started off by mixing the shades Hello Salem and On Toast together and then just use that as a crease shade. After I blended everything together, I went in with the shade Tis Firm and popped that on the center and outer portion of the lid. Next, I went in with the shade Winch and put that on the inner portion of the lid. Now going in with the shade Dead Man's Toes and then focusing this on the outer portion of the lid. And then I did end up dragging it more towards the crease as well towards the end. I'm just packing on a little bit more of the shimmer shades to get more of a pop and now just blending everything together one more time. And here is the finished look. Alright guys, that is everything I have for the four looks for the Hocus Pocus palette. 
I know the first and this last look are kind of similar. I had planned to sit down and do like a really simple, easy look, but then I just got carried away with the pinks and the glitter as usual. Um, as far as my final thoughts on the palette, I do think it is absolutely beautiful. There wasn't a lot of fallout on my eye. However, there was a little bit of fallout in the pan, especially from this black shade and these deeper purples. The um, mattes on here blend out absolutely beautifully, especially the shade on Toast. It's so buttery. The shimmers are amazing. I think this is such a beautiful palette. Again, I love the packaging. The only thing I wish is I wish it had a mirror, but the palettes that they do like this typically don't have mirrors. That helps it be cheaper. But anywho's, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I do have lots more giveaways planned coming up. Actually, my next video, probably on Monday when I do my BoxyCharm Ipsy unboxing, there's going to be a giveaway in that video. So stay tuned for that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.